All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. It is now my honor to introduce the Attorney General of Iowa, Brenna Byrd. Please join me in giving her a warm welcome. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to determine our nominee for the office of Vice President of the United States, Senator J.D. Vance. Let's get out of Iraq, get 
back on the track And let's rebuild America first business here. The chair states that in compliance with Rule 40B, the chair has been furnished with evidence that a plurality of the delegates from each of five or more states severally support the candidate who will be presented for the nomination for Vice President of the United States. The chair would like to remind delegates of the provisions of Rule 40A, which provide that in part, if there is only one candidate for nomination for Vice President of the United States, who has demonstrated the support required by this paragraph B of this rule, a motion to nominate for such office by acclamation shall be in order, and no calling of the roll with respect to such office shall be required. At this time, the chair states that she has been furnished with evidence that there is only one candidate for nomination for the office of vice president who has demonstrated the support required under Rule 40B of the Rules of the Convention. Delegates and alternates, the chair recognizes and is pleased to introduce John Husted, Lieutenant Governor of Ohio, for the purpose of nominating. Please give him a warm welcome. Are we ready? Are we ready to nominate a vice president? How about you, Ohio? Yeah! That's awesome. I'm John Husted, the Lieutenant Governor from the great state of Ohio. It is an honor to speak to you all this afternoon to formally nominate the Republican nominee for Vice President of the United States. Ohio is the heart of it all, and that is certainly the case once again here today. The Vice Presidency is an office of sacred trust. The man who accepts this nomination accepts with it the awesome responsibility to give wise counsel to the President, to represent America abroad, to preside over the Senate, and to be ready to lead our nation at a moment's notice. Such a man must have an America first attitude in his heart. He must, amen. He must embrace his obligation to the American family, the American worker, and the American soldier. He must believe that America is exceptional. and be prepared in the tradition of our founders to pledge his life, his fortune, his sacred honor to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. He must share the values and principles of our presidential nominee and be trusted to faithfully implement the will of the people. J.D. Vance is such a man. J.D. 
A man who loves America and will represent our people with moral courage, strength, and honor. J.D. is a living embodiment of the American dream. He came from humble beginnings, and even as his life took him to places he might have never imagined, he never forgot where he came from. Ohio values are in his blood. He served our nation in the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> he is a graduate of The Ohio State University. He graduated summa cum laude from Yale Law School and is the author of the best-selling book, Hillbilly Elegy. And he is a crusader for the people of the Ohio in the United States Senate. He has never forgotten the working people of our country, and he never will. He fought to bring investment to middle America as a businessman and has fought to defend them every single day in the Senate. In this I know, this I know. He will faithfully stand by President Donald Trump's side as they win this election and change the course of our nation. Yeah. They will change the course of our nation to the benefit of all American citizens and truly make our country great again. It is therefore my honor to nominate Ohio Senator J.D. Vance for the office of Vice President of the United States of America. Delegates and alternates, pursuant to Rule 40A, a motion to nominate by acclamation is now in order. The chair now recognizes Delegate Bernie Moreno, Senate candidate from Ohio, for the purpose of making a motion. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Bernie Moreno. I'm honored to be the Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate from the great state of Ohio. I know firsthand that my dear friend J.D. is a selfless and brilliant fighter. He is a patriot who loves America. He loves Ohio. He loves his family. He's a great father. He's a great man. And that's what we need in this nation today. The J.D. Vance, America First is not just a slogan. It's his North Star. He has followed it every moment of his life and career. He knows what it's like to live in poverty, forgotten by Washington politicians. He is dedicated to ensure that no American is ever forgotten again. Yeah. Madam Chair, it is a great honor to move that J.D. Vance be nominated by acclamation by this Republican National Convention as its candidate for the office of Vice President of the United States of America. Without objection, the previous question is ordered. The question is on the motion that Senator J.D. Vance be nominated by acclamation. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Ah! All those opposed, signify by saying no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the motion is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Delegates 
and alternates, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce that Senator J.D. Vance has the overwhelming support of this convention to be the next Vice President of the United States. The Chair is pleased to make the following appointments to the Escort Committee for Senator J.D. Vance, his Vice Presidential nominee. Usha Vance, uh, thank you, and God bless America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Speaker Johnson. What a great night. Pursuant to Rule 40D of the rules of the Republican Party, I formally declare President Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance as the Republican nominees and Vice President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back RNC Chairman Michael Watley. What a great afternoon for the Republican Party, and what a great afternoon for America. It is now time to take the official convention photograph. If all of the delegates would please stand and turn to the center camera directly opposite the stage, we will take the official photograph. Thank you, delegates. At this time, please welcome Leora Lee, delegate and national committee woman from Connecticut, who will lead us in addiction. Let us pray. That means be quiet. <laughs> Bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the life and the strength of President Donald Trump and pray that you continue to protect his family. We pray for Corey Comparatori and his family. May his memory always be a blessing. We pray for the two patriotic Americans who were wounded and for their speedy, complete recovery. King of the universe, who knows all, sees all, please watch over us as we embark on the work for which we have gathered here today. We are here to elect President Donald J. Trump, a leader with wisdom, strength, courage, and the experience to repair what has been badly broken. Lord, please bless the leaders of our great Republican Party. Bless President Trump, Vice President J.D. Vance, RNC Chairman Michael Watley, Co-Chairman Laura Trump, the delegates, alternates, and guests gathered here today as we work to make America great again. May we remember your word in Deuteronomy 31.6, be strong and courageous. 
Do not be afraid because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave nor forsake you. Our Father in heaven, bless our exceptional country, the United States of America, and all who stand vigilant to protect us, the members of our armed forces, police, and first responders. O oh Lord our God, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, your eternal city, and for all the children of Abraham. We remember and pray for freedom for the hostages kidnapped and held so cruelly against their will. Lord, please keep them in your sight and hasten the day of their freedom. Lord, we have gathered here from different communities, cities, states, and territories. Let us pray together, united for our nation, the United States of America. May our prayers unite the American people to work together for the betterment of our nation and of the entire world. May America be a light unto the nations and an emissary of clarity and leadership for the world. Grant peace, goodness, blessing, grace, loving kindness, and mercy to us. Bless us, our Father, all of us as one, with the light of your face. In a moment, we will recess until this evening's session. This evening's session will reconvene at approximately 545. However, I will instruct delegates to please return to the hall at 530 p.m. in order to be in your seats by 545 p.m. I thank you for consideration. The chair declares that the 2024 Republican National Convention is in recess subject to the call of the chair.